Hello, I hope you're having a great day. So today I need to start Celosia. I need to start Liatris. And so I'm gonna do that. If you want the actual germination facts, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link to how to start Celosia. And then also a link to how to start Liatris. I'll put them in the videos too if I can. And then I also have a video where I tell you like how I prepare my trays before planting them. So I'll also link that up above. So you can be looking for the links in the upper right hand corner of your screen. And those will kind of give you the details of what I'm doing. Today I just kind of fastly go through. Both of them require light to germinate. So I got my trays ready and I sprinkled the seeds on top. So that's what I did this morning. And then I ran out to the farm and I got these babies in light. They're in a little bit of a different spot today because it is so windy out today. And I also brought some yarrow out. I had to make room under my grow lights and I thought, well, this yarrow definitely looks like it needs hardening off. It's already growing in the field. So I think it's probably a cold tolerant plant. We'll see. Um, I might plant a tray of it and test it and just harden the other ones off by bringing it in and out. Um, I will harden it off for a week before I plant it though. So I brought that out here and made room for my Celosia and Liatris under my grow lights. And then I'm gonna go test just tilling a little area to see if it's dry enough. And I think that my friend's gonna come out today and till the field, but it is so windy out today. It looked like the wind drops down around three. So maybe I'll be, get a chance to lay some of my drip lines and some of my plastic, but that might be a task for tomorrow too. We will see how it goes. And in the meantime, I think I'll do that. And then while my plants are getting a little bit of sun, um, I might have to move them here in a little bit to more sun. <laughs> so tricky when you can't get them right out into the field but um and then i might just do some cleanup um there's still a lot left that can be cleaned up out here so we'll just see how the day goes i hope everybody enjoys this video it is so windy i will probably do a lot of just the fast motion and not talking um we'll see how it goes it's crazy it's actually like starting to flower i should probably just like pinch it off um I could like just pinch it off, but I don't know. Maybe I'll leave some. They're looking happy. The sun's already kind of disappearing from this side, but that's okay. This yarrow's never been out in the sun, so yay! It's ready. Look at this beautiful dirt all tilled and ready to go just rub my hand in it 
Oh my god, isn't that beautiful? It's glorious. So I've got two areas right here all ready to be planted. <laughs> A little path to drive down to get down to the bottom. And another glorious field. I'm so excited. It's windy out today though, so laying drip and laying your black cover when it's windy is not fun. And I don't think it's windy tomorrow and it's already in the afternoon, so I'm going to hold off. But what I am gonna, I think, do is pound maybe some poles in the ground because they can act as a deer fence and I can measure so it's the right distance apart. And then I can lay my black stuff in between them. So I think I'm gonna do that because that'll be one thing that I can get done that I don't have to do later. Um, and also I, my truck is full of stuff that needs to go to the dump. So I don't have my truck to like load it up and bring everything down here. So I have to wait until tomorrow morning because the dump is not open right now. So I will take all of the metal first thing Monday morning to the dump, get rid of it. And then I will have my truck and then I should start being able to get this field ready. And when it's ready, which will take a few days, I will then be able to give my little Lizianthus and Snapdragons the final home. I'm so excited. And today I did get out another multiflora rose bush down there. I think it's looking a lot better along that ditch line. We'll see. That tree, like in, you'll see this summer, it will all be green. Like, you won't believe how much that tree, like it just takes up that whole area and just makes I think it's looking a lot better. I really should probably get that last multiflora rose out because they're starting to bloom and then there's no getting them out after that. But, priorities. This is what I've come here to do. <laughs> by 43 foot wide which is actually a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be but my truck will still fit through those sides so good to go I'm so excited so I'm going to put the other four poles um, in for the deer fence so what I do is I'm just marking off so that I can make my deer fence um, and I can go over when I string the line, I'll go over how I do that. Right now I'm just putting the corner post so that when I lay my fabric, I can get it as straight as possible in between the posts. Um, but the gist of the deer fence, and it worked wonderfully for me last year, is on the inner circle you have three lines. And then on the outer one you have one line and the deer can't like three-dimensional is too hard for them and they just can't see how to jump over it and it keeps them away and it's a pretty simple fence to do at least it kept them away last year if it keeps them away this year as many deer as we have I'll feel confident that it works so so I'm just gonna get the posts in the ground that way it's all ready I will have to put more posts um, it's a really light string line so I don't even put the posts all the way in the ground I leave just a little bit of the anchor sticking out because it's easier to pull them out if I need to and they don't need to go in that far for such a light string that goes on it. It's just a, it's one of those um, poly wire strings that go around it. It's really easy. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, my camera is getting low on battery again. I do have a new battery like coming to hook up so yay, hopefully I won't run out of battery anymore. But I'm going to get that done and I'll just take a picture give you an update when I'm done. I've got all my corner posts in so I will have one line around the outside and then three lines along the inside and that will be my deer fence. 
One thing I did notice is we put the grounding rods in the ground last year by the field I made my perennial field. So, and those are down there pretty far. I don't know if there's a way to take those out or if I'll have to get a new one. I'll figure it out. I probably want to pull those out just because why well, have them there? But this is going to be it. So now my next step will be to lay my drip line, measure and lay my drip line. Um, I did four lines of drip last year and honestly I was kind of going off other people and I think they have a drier climate um, because I didn't run it a lot and when I did run it I honestly think like by the time it gets out and then goes into the ground I think two might be enough per sec per four foot section so like one in two feet and then another two feet I think that would be enough and I'm gonna try it this year worst comes to worst I have to come out and punch a hole and put another one down if it's too dry but if it works then I know in the future that that works in my zone so I'm gonna go ahead this year and try it <sighs> it's so exciting to not have to clean up all of those multiflora rose bushes now <laughs> this is exciting it is still like really windy out so I don't want to be fighting with that tarp the whole time and I'm gonna run all of that stuff to the dump so, I think this is good. I've had a busy day. Um, the wind just isn't cooperating, and I think I'm going to call it a day. I hope everybody has a fantastic day, and I'll see you tomorrow.